traces its history all the way back to 1834 and has held the traditions of the industry dear to its heart ever since its conception. Yet despite being one of the oldest distilleries in Miyazaki, they are constantly tweaking and experimenting with their methods to create new flavours of shochu. Shin Ichiro Watanabe, president of Kyoya Shochu Distillery, is conscious of his audience. When his company noticed that younger generations didn't appreciate the stronger smelling varieties of shochu, they changed from the traditional cotton filtration system to a vacuum filtration system, thus removing some of the smell. This, however, changed the taste and people quickly noticed. Yet they are anxious to uphold their heritage and not to simply chase trends. They use the traditional 800 litre tanks which don't require advanced technology to keep them at the correct temperature. Their anxiety to keep up with the changing tastes of Japan whilst remaining loyal to their dedicated fans and to make sure that they only use natural, locally grown ingredients means that the Kyoya distillery certainly has their work cut out for them, but their passion drives them on. Through the efforts of people like Mr. Watanabe, shochu is gaining in popularity both at home and abroad. In Japan, sales of shochu are increasing year by year, threatening to knock sake off the top spot. Yet there is still room for growth. As Mr. Watanabe himself points out, the average bar will usually have a variety of wines and sakes, but maybe only one or two shochu options, and hotel bars often don't serve any form of shochu. Shin Ichiro Watanabe heartily believes that it is the flexibility of shochu which will take it far, since it can be taken as a shot or watered down and drunk with food, not to mention the range of flavours that one distillery can achieve. Internationally, shochu is becoming recognised as a great accompaniment to food and as an after-dinner aperitif. The Kyoya Distillery directs most of its international exports to the US, particularly New York, where izakaya dining is becoming increasingly popular. It is shochu's ability to reset the palate that makes it such a great accompaniment to Japanese food. And so the more popular the izakaya dining becomes, the more popular we can expect shochu to become in the US. Once people become familiar with the idea of shochu as a meal accompaniment, the Kyoya Distillery wants to encourage consumers to find local ingredients and recipes that it will complement. But Mr. Watanabe also has his eyes on the powerhouses of Europe, London and Paris. Here, shochu will have to compete with the far more established dinner accompaniment of choice, wine. Mr. Watanabe has already successfully presented shochu as part of a sommelier lecture in Paris, which sparked off a tasting dinner and then a media event dedicated to the drink. Watanabe is hopeful that small victories like this will gradually create a larger market for shochu in Europe. Shochu has historically been the drink of Kyushu where 98% of Japan's premium shochu is made. The warmer climate allows for a great variety of crops to be grown, all of which can be distilled into different varieties of shochu. Kyoya is particularly anxious to ensure its ingredients are sourced in as environmentally friendly a manner as possible. One of their subsidiary company grows sweet potatoes and soba using natural compost and ducks. The ducks eat damaging weeds, plough the field with their movements, and fertilise the field with their droppings. The Kyoya Distillery works hard to ensure that an impressive 99% of its ingredients come from the Miyazaki Prefecture. For Mr. Watanabe, the Kyoya Shochu is more than just a product to be promoted and sold as widely as possible. He wants to create a brand which captures the spirit of Kyushu and then to share that with the world. Mm -hmm.